Hello, everybody! Welcome to another edition of Vespers Retro Reviews! I'm Ramses! Holy crap, and those are King Griffey's lips! <laughs> Vesper. I mean, I'm Vesper! <laughs> wow! Hey, Something is wrong with this here. I think uh, there was an error in the digitization, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, we're here to talk about Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball on the Super Nintendo, the 1991 Mega Star Hit arcade action style baseball that was found on your Super Nintendo. One of the best baseball games ever made, and here it is, finally in our baseball retrospective. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's definitely not one of the best animated. All right, well, it's a Super Nintendo, 16-bit. They did the best they could. Now, it should be known that Nintendo owned uh, the Seattle Mariners at this time. That's why they made a game based on Ken Griffey Jr. Is that why they used most of their names correctly? No, none of these names are correctly. Uh, it should be known that this game uh, had only the baseball license. That means they could use the stadiums and the team names, but they couldn't use any actual real names of players. So you'll see they have all fake names every single player in this game, except for one player, because Nintendo did have the rights to use that player. Can you guess who that player is? Well, would it be Ken Griffey Jr.? I guess I'm wrong. You are exactly right. It is Ken Griffey Jr., the man on the title of this game. There he is again. Let's look at him again here. Let's see. Uh, don't look directly into his lips. <laughs> there it goes. It's out of here. So, yes, 1994. Did I say 91? I meant 1994. Super Nintendo Mega Hit. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. Yes, and please don't look at the right side of the screen. And that's it. So I think we're ready to show you this masterpiece of a game. Well, from the demo, it shows me that we should go back and play the Genesis we just played. Oh no, no, we already did enough Genesis games. So here, let's push start. Alright, here we go. Now when you push start, you get a few modes of play. You can do a single player, which is just a regular exhibition game. You can do an all-star game, which of course is just an all-star game, American vs. National League. You can do the World Series, you can pick two teams and then do a best of seven tournament. And you can do a season play, which I'll show you what that looks like. Season. So you can do a full season, 162 games. A medium season, 78 games. Or da -da 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 -da, a short season of 26 games. Why you would want to do only 26 games, I don't know, but might as well just play some exhibition games. But I guess people that just want a quick, quick rush to the game, you can do a short, medium, or full. Well, the other Genesis game we just played had a 15 for short. So I mean, I guess they're doing different uh, divisors for these games. Yes, that would make sense. So let's see. You can do uh, normal. Now, this is interesting. I remember this game came out in 1994, everybody. So, the divisions were being divided this time. This is right before the strike. Vesper's favorite time uh, in the God. world, the 1994 strike. So, before the strike happened, they were talking about turning the division into what they are currently now. That's with the three divisions and the wild card. This is the proposed format, 1994, where in 1994 they were going to, if the season wasn't canceled due to the strike, do what they do now, which is three division, a east, a central, and a west. And then the uh, second place team plays in the tournament too as the wild card team. That was the proposed. Or you had the normal, which was just east and west. Actually, that's pretty cool, actually. I mean, the fact they actually went to that length for a video game, is that says something right there. That's yeah, very cool that they were thinking ahead like that. So if you did propo proposed, they don't divide it in, no, it'll be divided in divisions when you uh, play the game. But for team select, they, they don't show you what division anyone is. I don't know why they didn't go that extra step. But once the game starts, then it's divided into divisions. Hey, he's got my team, the Padres. Oh, well, that's right. Yes, hey, did Padres. you know who the Padres beat last season? No, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, so we have uh, some teams that aren't around anymore. We have the Montreal Expos. They're gone now. And we have, uh, I think we have uh, another team that's no longer. Oh, yes, the Brewers are now in the National League, don't forget. Here, that was the uh, American League in this time. And we have teams that aren't around yet. And, uh, yeah, so we don't have Tampa Bay. Or Arizona yet, of course, is before then. And we have uh, California Angels aren't around. They're now called the Los Angeles Angels. That is true, too. And this logo is gone right here in this team name. They are now the Guardians. Cleveland Guardians. Boo! Sorry. Boo! All right, and then we also have your favorite here. Hey, did you also know something else about the Indians? What's that? That's right. where Willie Mays Hayes plays. Oh, that's right. The Cleveland Indians. Famous for, what was that one? Major League, of course. Yes, we just talked about it in another video we did. So there you go. So a lot of changes have happened since we've last been here. Even Toronto, that's a Canadian team, the only Canadian team left in baseball. But like I said, Montreal was still around at this time, so they were there. They became the Washington Nationals. So a lot of changes happened in baseball. And don't forget, Houston Nationals are now in the American League. There you go, that's the change. I always remember, as a kid, I was wondering, why does the Expos have ELB in their, like, little logo, you know? 
I have no idea. I know there's a reason, and I probably did look it up, but honestly, at this time, I don't remember. So we're not going to play tournament mode. I mean, we're not going to play season mode, so let's reset here. So what I want to show you is the All-Star game, but not the All-Star game. I want to show you... What does it say below All-Star game? Home Run Derby! That's right, I'm going to give you a taste of what the Home Run Derby was, so just so you get an idea. So they had a Home Run Derby. I could go against Vestiburg, but right now, he doesn't have a control, so we're just going to do one player. That's right. I can't be bothered with minor things like this. So you can pick the weak player, who's S. Scrap. Scrap. So Scrap is pretty bad. You can see he has a 245, 500. Why would I want to use him in a home run derby? We have Cannell Corn. He's all right. He's decent. But we have Nick Nohart, who's pretty much the best player in the game. So I think we'll pick uh, Nick Nohart. Play ball. And, and now who do you think we're going to go against in this home run derby? Oh, yes. It is Ken Griffey Jr. So you got to watch Ken Griffey take his bats now. There you go. He's going to keep hitting him and hitting him. And it's in Fenway Park, by the way. You see the green monster there? Vesper and I did a tour event of uh, Fenway Park. A little bit of history there for you. Oh, guys. yeah. It was absolutely amazing. And you know what? This is why they're not letting you play Ken Griffey Jr. as the first player. Right. He's overpowered. He is the best player in the game, and I understand why it is their game, and they want to make sure he's good, but still, you know. You know, I know it's supposed to be the league he's from, but it looks like he's still wearing his old Reds jersey. <laughs> right, he's on Seattle at this time, don't forget. So, uh, let's see, is that driving? Yep, it's in, so not a home run. So you get 10 outs in this home run derby. So anytime 10 balls don't go over the field, that's it, you're done. So anytime you get a home run, you just keep going. But when you get 10 outs, like that continues. So he only has 8 outs until the ball does not go over, and then he'll have 7 and 6. So there you go, that's how the home run derby works. Oh, he caught it. Well, it doesn't matter, it's a home run derby. But so yeah, this game had other options is what we're trying to show you here. So I don't think we need to see the whole home run derby. You got the idea. All right, there. go ahead and fast forward. Well, the home run derby is obviously a little rigged here. I mean, when they throw you up against Ken Griffey Jr., what do you expect to happen? All right, well, that was fun. I just wanted to guys show you. So when you lose, what do you get? You get... You lost, rookie, try again. There you go. Oh, gee, am I going to be able to beat Ken Griffey Jr. in his home game? And the answer is no. <laughs> So there you go, that was the Home Run Derby. So like I said, it had lots of options, but we know what you're all here for. You want to see me here, Rancis, your co-host, play a game against the computer in Ken Griffey Jr.'s Presents Major League Baseball on the Super Nintendo, and, well, you come to the right place, because that's exactly what we're going to do here. I would usually do a season, of course, if I was playing, if I, you know, in my home version of the game, I have a season, and I, I did a whole season with the Mets, and I did very well there. Ha! We're going to do single player mode, that's right. So let's, let's get it going. One player again, I will show you how it's all done, folks. Alright, so you see, here's all the teams. We have all the teams that were in the National League at the time. And there's your team, the Padres, who I'm not going to use. We have my team, the Mets, who aren't that good, so I'm not going to use them. Isn't it great, folks, to have a team and they all suck? <laughs> Pretty much. And then to get to the American League, you... There you go, you push to the right. You got all the players here. So who were the world champions this year? Uh, that was the Toronto Blue Jays, one of the best teams in uh, baseball. Yeah, they were there in the 90s. They were smoking. Oh, they were great. They had Joe Carter. They Oh, yeah, they were one of the best. You know, I'm going to use Toronto. I like Toronto. I remember them being very good in this game. And I want to show you a fun game, so I am going to use Toronto. Well, uh, let's who see. who should I play against? I don't want uh, I don't want to play. I think we'll keep American vs. American. I play against the Yankees, perhaps, and beat up on the Yankees, maybe? And... Well, I kind of saw that one coming, since you are a... Uh... Mets fan, you do want to teach the Yankees a lesson. Oh, absolutely. Let's see, or should I play against my favorite, the Baltimore Orioles? For a nice toss of uh, I think I'll play against the Yankees, why not? Either that or the California Angels. Oh, that's true, I was making fun that they're not even uh, California Angels anymore, they're the Los Angeles Angels. Yes, because we don't want to use the word California. Alright, California Angels. I don't know why they changed it. I like the California Oh, I know. I, I, and they were the Anaheim Angels for a while, too, don't forget. Now, look at the attendance in this. This stadium held 50,000 people. Isn't that I love how they just max out the attendance like that's every yeah, game. Yeah, every happen. game is going to sell out. Now, let's show you some of the options here, because this is really cool. You can uh, look at the stats of the team. So, here's our players. Now, let me show you some of the best uh, players in the, in, in the team. They're all great. This is a stacked team. That's why they won the World Series so easily. And they won back to back, by the way. I bet you didn't know that Toronto won two years in a row. But these are not real names, I should tell you that. Yes, I didn't mention it, because in uh, the previous game we played, that was on the Genesis, they had every single player name. This is the opposite. 
So they only got the team names and the stadiums. That's all they got in this. And the divisions and all the official names like World Series and stuff. But they have no real player names for any of the players here. So what did they do? They based it on real life pop culture or teams or actors. So why don't we see what we are actually dealing with? Toronto Blue Jays, they were named after the Wigan Warriors rugby team. Oh, wow, that's a weird, obscure thing. I guess with 30 teams, you run out of ideas after a while of what to name players after. Yeah, it's cool. If you're wondering what the Seattle Mariners, for instance, were, they were named after Nintendo of America employees, so that was really cool. And let's see, we're playing against who? The California Angels? That's right. All right, well, they're named after famous actors. Oh, so they have F. Astaire. Who's F. Astaire? Would that be Fred Astaire? That's right, right. And who is M. Brando? Marlon Brando. Ah, very good. So there you go. That's what they did. They just used famous actor names because they couldn't get it. But you can do something interesting if you want your own players. Who are these players? I don't know. I don't want this guy. Let's see. Uh, who do we got here? So I go to... Who am I using? I'm using the Toronto Blue Jays. There we go. And then you got all these weird rugby players. Like, uh, who, who is, who's his skirt? I don't I don't want this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name him something else. Let's see. I'll come up with a, a, a fitting name. Ah, you finally learned. It is good to suck up to the boss. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put the Vesper on our team here. And uh, that's this is how you create your own players. It's, it's, it's actually a very cool thing. They let people name the players because they couldn't do it themselves. They didn't have the rights. But they gave you an edit mode. So if you want to name these players, whatever you want to name, you can. So now we have the Vesper on our team. And you save it, and now it's permanent. There you go. Well, you know what? I actually named the Padres team back in the day after the real players. Like... Tony Gwynn and... Oh, so you actually changed all the players. Yeah, I think I did have the Mets too. It was fun to rename the players, like I said. So there you go. That's the options that you have in this game, which is really cool. Let's see what uh, other options we have here. So you can do uh, DH. That's always fun. Play and manage, which is if you want to uh, uh, do both, which is what we're doing. That's the default option. But you can manage only if you want to be able to say, no, I want you to change the pitcher. No, I want you to put a pitch hitter. That's all the options. Wait, 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 wait. If I just turned on manage, turned off play and manage, that means I could just sit here and watch the game play itself? Yes, and then when you're like, I don't like the way the pitch is going, you push start and put a pitcher, and that's all you have to do. Wow, <laughs> this game had no idea that this is what America needs right now. Yes, yes. Let's enter that level of lazy, folks. <laughs> Pretty much. So, I could do auto field. You can turn the music off, I would never do that, the music's great in this game. And there you go, that's the options there. Do you know what's not great in this game? What's that? Ken Griffey Jr.'s lips. Folks, I have tons of his baseball cards. Something's not right here. I don't, I don't know what happened. Like I said, the digitization didn't work out, and they weren't able to fix it in time for release in 94 here, but it's all right. It, 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 we'll, we'll look past it. It's not, it's not that bad. He's uh, an all favor. He's an all-time great. That's right. One of the best ever. I think he'll, he'll be all right with the lips being a little messed up in the digitization. I'm sure the money he got for this game made up for how bad it was. <laughs> I'm sure he when played he his... This, he he's <laughs> like, damn, do my lips really look like that? So anyway, yes, yeah, so a few little errors here. So you can change the pitcher in the bullpen if you want to do that, but I wouldn't change Mather. He's a great pitcher. He's 14-3 with a 3.99. Why would I take him? So, yeah, that's it. That's everything we have in the game. Let's fix it here. And I think we're ready. There we go. Blue Jays versus Angels. All right, Vesper. So I'm going to about to push the button, and they're going to say play ball, and then they're going to play an anthem, but not the American anthem. It might be one you don't recognize, but be ready. I, I don't want you to get out of here. Here we go. 50,500 people are attending this game, and... Play ball! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not Canadian. I know what this is. Uh, what do you mean? You, you, you knew what that was? Yes! It was there all is... Canada. Yes! Oh, Canada. America's hat. <laughs> That, that's, that's not very nice. I, I, I think we should all appreciate we have a very good relation with Canada here in the United States. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and I, I think we should be happy to have the anthem of both the Canadian teams and the American teams in this game. Well, I will say that it is actually kind of cool. I mean, most of these games don't even go to the effort of putting in the anthem. That's true. Very true. All right, here we go. Start the game. Be right. All right, we got him with a the strike there. I'm going to say this also right now, that the uh, plate looks awful small, doesn't it? Oh uh, yeah, it does actually. Pizza. 
Oh, that was a good catch. I see that the computer plays equally as well for you as it does for itself. Uh, no, actually, this is uh, on regular play. Gotta change this up. All right, so here we go. Uh, oh, hey. almost gone. Yep. Uh, Humphrey Bogart is up. That don't look like Humphrey. No, nope, but we might get the double play. Yes. All right. I think you did quite well, actually. I mean, after all, you're playing as the world champions of that year against the California Angels. And not only that, dead actors. I know. I got the double whammy going against it here. All right, so now I'm going to be uh, the Toronto Blue. Here we go. Yeah, I think... Oh. Oh, that was almost a hit, but they did leave. Well, I'm going to give the coaching opinion. Get a little closer to the plate. Whoa, 100 miles per hour. That's a well, that does raise the question. Do they have stamina in this game? Yes. Yes, they do. Oh, let's go for the double. See? Nope, it's done. You see? You need to listen to me. I told you to scoot up on the plate, and you're getting good hits now. Here I So, yes, they do have fatigue. You'll see the pitcher start to heave and Here pant. I. Oh, that was a strike. You'll see the pitcher start to heave and pant, and the balls will go slower when they can't. Uh-oh. Uh Hey. Oh, Woo, that was close. But they can't pitch anyway. So yeah, they don't have a, a read out, but they have... Oh, Joe Carter's up. Hold on. He's our best. Oh, he got a good hit. That's for yep, certain. Yep, let's go. Take it. Go, go. We're going for it. Here he goes. Yes. All right. Oh, the best was up, everybody. Oh, baby. Uh-oh, it's going. 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 Oh. Almost. Well, did you notice in this one that it doesn't show where it's going to land like it does when you're up to play? No, yeah, I guess the computer, they, they don't... Yeah, I wish they did, because that'd be cool to get an idea just for as the player, but yeah, I guess it's the computer. Uh-oh. Guess who's up? John yeah, Wayne. Well, that's already going to be... It's going to be tied one-to-one -one here in a second. Oh, I, hey! I didn't do it. Okay. Like what that happened. Mark Gable. Well, let's see if he can do it. Maybe not. Okay, all right. Woo. Well, I'll tell you why. It makes it feel like you're going to miss it. Because this game hits them at incredible speeds. It really does. you got to be ready. This is this is what they call arcade-style play. It's just fast, fast, fast. Oh. All right, that was outside. You threw it in the other batting box. Of course it's going to be a ball. <laughs> and that's his fault. And you push the other button, the A button, to run. So I did A and the direction, and it ran. What's the other buttons do? Throws. The throw and run. So the other two buttons don't mean no, anything? No, the top. Well, uh, bunting is the extra. Well, good for sacrifice place. That's right. All right, so so far there's a lot of fun, folks. All right, we have one nothing lead. We're going into the bottom of the second. Let's see who's up. D. Betts. Betts. It could be, and it is. All right, it's a single. We're going to hold there. There we go. Well, this game looks pretty good, although I will say I like the Genesis game a little bit better. Go, go, go! Oh, he ran me over! Well, you didn't scoot up to the plate. Remember, uh, every time you scooted up to the plate, you did better. Alright, let's try. Oh, hey, wait, he tricked me on that one. Well, when they're throwing 100 miles an hour and they throw it 60, of course you're going to be like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> well, that's my catch. Yeah. Alright, so there you go. We got one hit out of it. So, after two innings, it is one nothing Toronto. Oh well, the game actually goes pretty fast. Yeah, it does. Said. It does. Oh, Mitchum's good for their eighth batter, three thirteen. Oh. Oh. Let's try to throw it outside. Oh. What? Wait, 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 what's going on? Oh, there oh. Nope. That's still a good try. Yep. Well, he's a good kid. Well. I'm going to say this. I like the baseball games where you can slide and jump, like in this one, which, if I remember correctly, is where I think this is, became the regular. Yes. Was this game. Yeah, these games made it the norm, pretty much. Yeah. And it does make a big difference because I can remember how many times that we played in the original game. Oh, come on. Well, by original games, I meant like Nintendo and Atari, where you could get oh. outs if you could just slide or do stuff like that. You yeah, know? yeah, so true. You can do slow pitches. Like this? Yep. So second, first. No. Pass. Well, I'd rather have the guy off at second. That gives us the double play. Even though it's two outs, at least it gives us every base to throw it in here. Alright, so Marlon Brando's good, so we gotta be ready. 
That's also another wonderful thing about these old baseball games. Is they actually allow you to use strategy in them. Whoa! Oh, I pulled that out of nowhere. I know, it's wonderful. And remember, folks, this isn't on auto fielding. No, I wanted to use auto fielding, truth be told, but I forgot to use it, so I'm, I'm fielding myself. You know? And I'm, I'm feeling it, huh? Alright, so Lowe is up, and Moni after him, and Gregory, whoever these people are, they're rugby players, I guess. That's right! Remember, squeeze up on the plate. As, I'm gonna tell you right now, as being the coach here of the wonderful Toronto Blue Jays, the farther back you stand, the less you hit it. That didn't make a difference at all. Ow. All right, well, well, let's try it again. All right, well, great. Right, right. No, the second base got all good. Well, use a bigger bat, cause your uh, bat's barely taller than your head. All right, Humphrey Bogart. He is good, actually. Wow! Oh, how did he miss that? That was a good pitch. You're once again the catcher is seeing off way to the side, going, throw it over here, he might swing at it. And I guess he is. But I'm not sure if this is the Humphrey Bogart we're used to. Uh, where, where's my player? Right there. Uh, nice single. It was too far for your second baseman to get to it. Oh. John Wayne is up. I mean shortstop, sorry. Sorry, folks, that was my fault. Double. That one wouldn't hurt anyone, that was a nice slow. You say that, and you know somebody's gonna yeah. catch it with their teeth. Say! Pitcher caught it, that doesn't happen often in this game. Yeah, usually, usually the pitcher's Here ducking I. and diving, trying to keep from getting drilled. Yeah, exactly. Oh. What are you doing? Are you even trying to pitch? Smart play, actually. Second, get second. Save. No. Nope. But you just trying to hold him up at third. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, you got it. You got it. Go, 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 go. You got it. Yeah. Oh, you knocked yourself uh -huh. out. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> I had no idea you could just brain yourself in this game. <laughs> I slid it to the wall there. Wow. Uh. All right. So we gave up a run, but we had a little yeah. funny animation there. Well, we now know why you gave up a run. Your guy probably doesn't even know if he's alive or dead after running into the wall last week. up next, so he's jacked. All right, so Sales is up first. Here we go. It's 1-1 one, one now. So this is fun. I, I like this game. It's fun. You just take some getting used to here. That's all. Whoops. Here I You never know if it's fast or slow. That is the problem. With this well, game. I mean, the plate's so small, so it's hard to tell if it's going to be a ball or a strike. Yeah, exactly. Because I've seen it. Like some of these pitches, they call them strikes, and it's like, I'm not sure if that was a strike or not. Oh, that's a good hit. You got it. Go, go, go! Yes! Joe Carter hit home run. All right. Too bad that wasn't me. No, that was Wolfman Jack. Oh, probably. Unless he plays rugby. <laughs> uh, and here's the Vesper. All right, Vesper, go for back to back. Here, I'll move you up a little bit. Here that's right. All right, you got a hit. All right. You're on the board. I'll take that. The beats. The bits. The bits. The bits. Choke up on the plate. Slide! Ow. Save! Hey. Ugh. I, did you notice how he does the turnaround jumping throw? Yes. That's pretty cool, I have that to admit. Like... By the way, they're doing it every time, but that was like a rare thing, by the way, folks. Yeah, yeah, that didn't happen. Alright, so we took the lead on a solo shot. So far, so good. It's a fun game. Alright, so we got two to one. California's up now. We saw a little fun. We saw a little action. We've seen some double plays. We've seen some running into the walls. Let's see what happens in the fifth inning. Well, I guess if we can use that as a strategy in the future to aim for the wall so they just knock themselves out. Here my help. Uh, this help. computer just swings at the worst pitches. Oh. Well, not always. That was a, that was a ball. Ball. Once again, we're knocked out by the foul ball. Uh -oh. Let's go for the wall. I don't think we'll get it. Nope. Oh, come on, Lizzie, going to do it? He's out. Heck yeah. Run him over, all right. That's right, you just run him over. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Oh. See, that was definitely a ball, but the plate should be a little bit bigger. Uh-oh. I have to slide. Oh. Good play, it's a double, but... Maybe he's going to go for third, maybe he's getting a little greedy. Nope, he's got it. Hey. All right, triple, folks, triple. 
That's hard to say. You don't usually get those oh. games. No, triples don't happen often. Alright, alright. We're out, we're out of this. Alright, who's up? Marlon Brando, okay. Yeah, be careful, Marlon. He, he's uh, got some weight behind his... Uh, uh, yeah, that's... Yes. Alright. Oh, yes! Alright. That was hard for it, folks. You don't realize what the feeling is like. Well, you know what's oh. funny? Is the fact that the game doesn't let the player about ready to run across home go until that's out or not. Right, yeah, it's, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird program like that. I really feel that there's something on with, like, where you're standing in the batting box on this game. Some games do make all the difference in distinction with it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, you're basically hitting like I am in the Legends game. The exact same two places. <laughs> oh, oh, he jumped early. Alright. That was the one to do anything, man. There you go. It happens. Hey, right, Humphrey Paul got something easy. Wait, did they just erase the batter boxes? Zero. Yes, because the chalk wears off. That's the effect they're going for. They have to six innings, the lines have faded away. You see, they're trying oh, to that's actually pretty yeah. cool, except for the fact it doesn't look like it faded away at all. Smart, smart. Yep, cut it off. Hey. See, that's what you gotta do in this game. You gotta judge if your guy can actually get there in time. He's out. You're ready to. Uh. <laughs> you wanna give the catcher a hug? <laughs> Oh, he's a bit. Dude, all these pitches have been bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, can you get it? Yeah, you got it. Alright. What do we got? Two outs now? Yes. Alright, Gregory packs up. Second. Uh, that was an error. I pushed up and it didn't work. Unfortunately, it happens on our control assembly to push up and it doesn't work on the emulator. Oh, well. You got it now. Yeah, I love how he just slid. Did you notice that? Yep. He's like, doggone it. Oof. Building is not easy, folks, but it's the best way to play because that's the only way to get good. Yeah. I've never seen Ramsey sweat so much in my life here. Alright, here we go again. Gregory is. Oh! Oh, is it another single? No, it's a double. Maybe. No, we couldn't do it. Playing it safe, folks. I just don't trust it. Alright, sales is up. Come on. Oh, so close. Alright, well, builder's choice. At least you're getting some hits on now. Alright, Joe Carr is up. Oh, that's a good hit. That's definitely a double. Yeah, we're going for it. Send them both, send them both, send them both. Nope, Carter's not close. Uh, he isn't? Nope. Oh, but he might have made it. Good, good, good. But that's it. Well, he, they might not throw it if you. Alright, come on, best first. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm going to get us an RBI. And you did. Yep. It's nice to get that, uh, a little bit of an extra run in. A double for the Vesper, everybody, so he's helping out his co-host. That's right! I mean, without me here, you definitely would lose. Ah. Uh, Alright, hold on. See if we can get you at least one more run in. Oh, I'm again in the... In the, in the, in the. Ooh, oh. I, I do have a question. Are you doing the check swing or not? No. That's that. That's it. Uh, too good of a pop. Oh, uh, I don't believe it! Wow! <laughs> that was like the weirdest blue pin I ever seen. Alright, we'll take it. Oh, I thought it was really 99. That proves that he's still shaking so hard he couldn't believe that happened. He gets into his baseball games. Uh, what is I don't going know. on? The fielders are falling apart on the other team. Ah, oh, they're taking him out. But so here's what it looks like when they change the pitcher. They're gonna pick. Somebody with an ERA crazy. of a 2.86 hole. Oh, oh, he's good. So they didn't start with their best pitcher. What is going on here? Well, well that's a reliever. Relievers have different things. Oh, that's true. Base is loaded. Oh, boy. Who's up? Mon Mooney. So you hear a, a, a rally song now. There you go. That's the rally song. There you go. Oh, oh you got another oh. run. All right. Even with the reliever. Wow, this is great. Hey. Alright, who's up now? Gregory. Right. Well, I guess this is what happens when you have the world champions as, as the team you're playing. Stay. Safe! Stay. What was that? I'd have to question that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we were almost there. That, that 
That was ridiculous, folks. Now you see why I use the trust of religion. Why you want to show that you can club a baby seal? <laughs> I always use the blue jays. They were the world champions. They, they were fun. Oh, see now look. What is my pitcher doing? He is about ready to fall over dead. So I'm gonna give one batter here and see what happens. Ow. Better change him out now. No, nope, not yet. I'm up by six on. So you're gonna make your pitcher fall over dead? Why not? Well, that is true. You don't like the Blue Jays. So. <laughs> no, I'm a Mets fan, man. Just dance. That'd be kind of cool if he just fell over dead. Oh. Oh. You're doing it again. I told you that plates off the small. I think you got it. Alright! Now my question is, when we get close, does it lock into place? Like, yes. Okay. It'll snap you in when you go in the box and snap you in. Okay. All right, Vesper is up uh, in, in the next match here. Let's see how he does. Well, I'm the right fielder? It, no, you're the first baseman. Now, don't forget, he started oh, that rally, everybody, in the last zone. You're right. I was looking at Jack. Right. Never played first baseman. I actually played right and left field when I was in the league. Oh, well, we should, well this is Joe Carter, the best player. In the league. He looks like he's kind of dizzy. And what's with that batting stance? I don't, know. I don't know if these are real stands. I'm assuming they're not, because this is arcade, toony style. Alright, Vess is up. Nice. It looks like we gotta go use the bathroom. I'll be uh, honest with you. Ow. I'm not going to make it. Ah, I can tell. Right. You, you had a great rally in the last one. Set. So here we go. You oh, swung wow. a little early on yeah, that one. Really okay. Eighth inning, folks. It's going very well. This Brando, a... Bogart, and Wayne. The wow, I've actually those three and a lot of them. I mean, they're all. I would have gone to that. I would have flown across this country to see all three of those people play in a baseball <laughs> game. I might have to take notes. I would do it immediately. Save. He already gave up a double. All right, they're cleanup hitters up. My guy's panting. Ah. I'm to change. Go to the bullpen. Let's see what we got. So how do you change it? You go to the pitcher you want to change. He did a great job. And you look over all your relievers. We have Anapa, who's pretty good, 2.7. Over 6, a little high. That guy's all right. I think we'll go with Anapa. All right, Anapa. Top of the eight. All right, so we have a fresh pitcher now. Let's see how it goes. He throws underhand. What the heck? Plus more sidearm. You look, no, that's completely under him. What's going on? There he is. I'm not getting. Got him! Wow! Hey, we'll take it. He's definitely throwing under him. This is like softball. Yes. We got it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I like the fact, though, that you can run, but I don't like the fact that it's not a free run. You actually. You have to tell him where to go, yeah, by freaking out of the Oof, I can keep him outside. Let's try. Oh, they got it wrong. Oh, well. At least you can maybe home off it. Yep. One base. Alright. Very great pack, is though. Oh, you got it! Yeah, there was no way he was going to hit first. Nope. Oh, that was a good that pitch. Was nice yeah, I don't have any place coming. I have to change this picture to it. Well, that's... Oh, oh you got me. Thank yeah. God. Oof. That I'm, was I, a closer. I'm put in the closer in the next one. Alright. Did it actually show the closer? Well, it'll be the last guy in the lineup. The bullpen. I want to say it's been a while. I can't remember how they chose those. Alright, here we go. Who's up? We're getting it to you. Oh, that's a good hit. Should be... Ah! Yeah. Oh. But that was about the right place that the builder would have been anyway, so... Let's take out Bell and put it... I'll show you how to change a batter too, just for fun. So you go to Bell. He's 5-4, nothing great. Let's see who we got here. Uh, that's a little better. Come on. go this guy, batting 286. Go for it. There you go, that's how you put it in the middle. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Oh, and you, well, can, and you can hit people in this game. 
Well, I like how it broke away from me at the last second. Just like that happens in real baseball, folks. Alright, pitch had a guy to hit. So it was a good thing. Wait, guy shot on base. Yep. No, that was not. But he has... That was okay. a good I don't think you need to do a sacrifice play just yet. Maybe you should have. Ow! Stay! Alright, leaves you going. Alright, so who we got now? Jamani, okay. Jamani! Oh, that was a good hit. Alright, stop. <laughs> I didn't think he's gonna get to second. I was I like, know, oh, how slow up. is he? <laughs> oh, alright. We can get our man, Joe Carter, up, and he's up. All right, this is it. Base is loaded. Our best player is up. I oh, know this is who he says. I know this. Uh oh. Second best. Oh, but he's tired. Of the pitcher. Interesting. Well, no, he's he's a relief pitcher. That's why. Yeah. I tell you, they have different. Uh, that's what the fat number means. Fatigue. That's why they don't last as long. All right, they put in another great pitcher. Two eighty six. It's pretty good. I guess California just had good uh, relievers. Well, if anything, I can say from the modern players of the Mets that the Grom just can't save the team no matter how hard he tries. No, no, that's for, that's for sure. All right, so this is it. It's been a fun game so far. I don't want to blow this. I am putting in or close. I actually prefer it when you're on the bottom than batting because that way all you have to do is get through one inning. Right, that's it, yeah. So now here's what you do. You go to Panapa and we put in Ek. And you can see, look at it, he has 9 speed, 9 control, and he has 45 saves. That's how you know that's our closer. Give me saves here. He looks kind of chunky. <laughs> He's fat, too. He shouldn't be so chunky. Well, uh, we'll take it. All right, here we go. Even though it's not a save situation, I just want to win the game. What are you supposed to do? It is. No, dude, that guy looks freaking oh. huge. Yeah, he looks like a tank. I, I got it! <laughs> I got it, folks! I caught it! Here I that See, that was nowhere near the plate. Oh. That wasn't it. That's why I said the, the strike zone detection is kind of wonky, Ow. you know? Yep. Alright, Marlon Brando, it's up to you. Nope. Yep. Yep. That's nice single. You know, it didn't show where the X was going to Because you couldn't hit. catch it. I think they don't put an X when you have no chance to... Ah, I it. got it. Oh! There you go! Hell yeah, that was a good game. Woohoo! Now that was a lot of fun. So you get a newspaper at the end that shows you how you did. So it says, Blue Jays pound Angel 72, and you can move the paper around. Blue Jay pitchers vow to start Bean Bowl, where they always give you a funny message of what the team's going to do. And they show you, like, in the real baseball stats, how you did. So, the winning pitcher was Mather, Houston lost it. They show you how we did here. And you had then... comparable pitches. I mean, not pitches. You had comparable hits. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at this. We had uh, Vesper did well. He was 2 for 4, got an RBI. And we had, uh, who was it, Jack, our best player, as I told you, Joe Carter. He was 4 for 4 with 2 RBI. And he hit the home run. He did great. And we had our pitcher was pretty good. Even Mather did well. That was only two runs he let up. And here's the heel of the game, Houston. He did terrible. But they did alright too. Look at all the hits they had. So, you know, they just couldn't get it in. Well, that's usually a good sign of a good game because in these other games, either one team gets no hits or they get all the hits. Yeah, exactly. So, folks, that was Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. And it's one of the best games. It is so much fun. But you gotta use a good team, a good team in this game. If you use a crappy team, you're not gonna have a fun experience because. It is realistic. If you have bad pitching, you're going to do bad. It's very simple. Isn't it? And it should also take down the amount of errors. But I will say this. Some of these catches that Ramsey's made, I don't think a computer could have done it because he jumped and dived at the right yes, time. Yes, the computer wouldn't have done all that. They leap a lot. The computer's very good at leaping, I've noticed. They, they'll leap all the time. But the diving catches and the positioning itself and the cutting it off, that the computer was never good at. So using auto fielding is, is good and bad. If you're not good at fielding and you want to try to keep it fine, but you can do better doing the regular fielding because you can do things the computer can't do. In, the in a lot of ways, it's... A great improvement. I the thing I hate most about the game is the fact that the strike zone is wonky. I and do not like it. And the plate is so tiny too. It's like you have a little dot to work with to get the pitch over. That's a, that's and I also don't like the fact that some of the proportions were just so wonky. Like the baseball bat didn't even look like a baseball bat. That's true. And they were holding it weird. And yeah, it, there's a lot of strange things, but. 
This game was known as being more arcadey and toony. It wasn't so realistic. It, they made it look fast and big, but it had some funny elements to it. Unlike a game we played previously, like that Sports Talk Base we played a little while ago, that one is more realistic and they're trying to make it with the realism. And stuff. Well, that's fine. I and mean, honestly, I like this one. The gameplay looks good and solid. It's very fast paced. But I don't know. It, it's. It's a toss-up between the sports talk and this, which I like better. This has... I like the naming conventions of this, I won't lie. All the teams have some weird naming convention. I yes, love it. It's funny. But there's something to be said for the gameplay and the announcer. I guess it all depends on your mood. If you want a fun, arcadey experience, play King Griffey. If you want more of a realistic, yet fun game, play the sports talk. Yeah, I think that's it. And if you own both systems, you got the best of both worlds. So let us know what your thoughts of Ken Griffey. I know this is a lot of people's favorite game of all time because this is what they grew up with as a baseball experience and we have a lot more to go so we'll show you some more uh, fun times, uh, fun baseball games of this time period. But this is a lot of people's favorite. I don't think we're going to give this a perfect score. There are flaws to this game, but this is a lot of fun. If you want a fun Super Nintendo baseball game, you can't go wrong with Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, or, or as I should say, Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball on the Super Nintendo made by Nintendo. So there you go. We're going to wrap it up now. Thanks everyone for joining us. We'll have some more in the future and we hope to see you again soon. So, good night to everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. That's right. And best for, uh, thank you for helping me to win this game. That was, that was great. Well, it wasn't my best performance. It's been a while since I played the majors. Well, yeah, you know, 4-2, uh, it's pretty good.